Mushrooms are genetically closer to humans than they are to plants. That means you share more DNA with a portobello than a petunia. Scientists have found that fungi and animals split from a common ancestor long after the line that led to plants branched off, making us distant cousins in the tangled tree of life. Both humans and mushrooms breathe in oxygen and expel carbon dioxide, unlike plants that do the opposite. Our cells and mushroom cells have similar building blocks, including the way we produce energy. Even the tough stuff that makes up a mushroom cell walls, called chitin, is related to the material in the shells of insects and crustaceans, not the cellulose found in plants. Some medicines that work on humans, like certain antibiotics, actually come from fungi because of these deep biological connections. That's part of why we can use mushrooms to make life-saving drugs and why fungal diseases can sometimes be so tough to treat, they're fighting our bodies on a level that's surprisingly familiar. Next time you see a mushroom, you're not just looking at a strange plant, but at a relative that's way closer to you than you ever thought. The world of fungi is practically a hidden mirror, revealing just how tangled and unexpected our family tree really is.